Hey everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Viet and I am a makeup artist. Before we get started, please click the subscribe button below and also tap on the bell so that you get notified on my next videos. So a little bit about myself. I am a makeup artist of almost eight years and I've had to go through my fair share of different foundations to find what works for me and my clients. I'm going to be sharing with you my favorite foundations and hopefully guide you in the search for yours. We're going to be going through three things. First thing is, is that you're going to determine your skin type. Are you oily? Are you dry? Are you combination? Or are you normal? Once you find your skin type, that's how you'll be able to counteract your concern before finding the perfect foundation. So for those of you who have normal skin, you're lucky. You can get away with any great um, lightweight products. For myself, I am combination. Some areas I get very oily, some areas I get a little drier, some areas I feel fine. It feels great. Oily skin and dry skin will need hydration to bring it back to that balance. Hydrating products are key. They are essential, okay? So find products that are very hydrating and that's going to help you in the long run, I promise. It's gonna help you from becoming a prune in your 40s. You wanna to turn to a prune? Never. But some, most of us, will turn to that as we get older. <laughs> With oily skin, you wanna find products that are very hydrating. Oil-free moisturizers are great. Oil-free foundations are great. But keep in mind, amping up that hydration is going to help you with your skin's look in the end. So here in the south, we have a very unique temperature climate. So it gets very hot sometimes, almost all the time, and then it will get very humid because we're in the Gulf. We have so much humidity here and the mixture of that with heat does not help. It's so hard finding something that's going to stay on your skin. Like we have four seasons in a week, I promise you. And that's not fun. <laughs> so for me, I think skincare is more important than the foundation. You want to have a great skincare regimen and once you have that, you're basically good to go. Alright, so the next step is to find your complexion. So you're either going to be warm, neutral, or cool. To determine this, you're going to look at your hands and look at your veins. If you're more green in the veins, it means you're a little bit more yellow, which means you're a little bit more warm. If you have bluish veins, you're going to be a little bit more cool. If you have both of the colors, like bluish, green, you're going to be a little bit more neutral, okay? Side note, whenever I'm working with clients, I like to go for more neutral foundations. I feel like I can go in and add more warmth through bronzers, and then if I want a little bit more color, I'll go in with blush. So I like more neutral finishes. Once you determine your skin type and the complexion you are, you can go and find your perfect shade and also the desired finish. All right guys, so I'm gonna show you how to find your shade now. So once you figure out what complexion you are, if you're warm, neutral, or cool, you're gonna go through the list. If you're more fair, you're gonna start off with basically one. And this is almost the same for every foundation line out there. You just start off with the lightest color, but you find which category you fit into. It's either going to be cool, neutral, or warm. So most people who are lighter won't have much of a warm undertone. So she only has cool and neutral. And like I said again, I only like putting neutral on people because I feel like I can bring the color back to the face. So you're seeing here how there's cool, and neutral and as we keep moving up we're on three now right you can see she starts adding the warmth in there the warm tones yeah so basically that's how you go through your shades now the fun part is me showing you the foundations that are in my kit and the ones that I like to use all the time on me and my clients all right so we're gonna start with the Charlotte Tilbury magic foundation this is probably one of my favorite foundations I reach to the most whenever I'm doing weddings, um, events, and photo shoots. This is a really great one. This is in the shade number 8. So this is a demi-matte formula. It's buildable. And you honestly really do get your money's worth with this foundation. Now we're going to move on to the next foundation, Dior Forever Foundation. This is a really beautiful formula. 
this is gonna give you like that perfect semi matte finish um, it stays on all day actually this was the foundation that I brought with me to Vietnam um, and whenever I wore it I felt like I wasn't wearing anything yet my skin looked so soft and it stayed on all day so I really enjoyed this one next foundation we're gonna show you is the Fenty Beauty one this one is a really great one it's really great for those who are very oily it is a semi matte finish however this one dries really quickly so you only want to do half of your face at a time and you don't want to use a lot of product this is very pigmented this one is very pigmented and it blends really well also it's already giving me like medium coverage immediately so that this is a really great foundation Now we're going to go in with one of my favorites that I always pull um, in the kit for those who are a little bit more mature, like I said. This one is the Bare Minerals one. This is a really good one. Um, I use this a lot. This one has such a nice natural, like you can't even notice you're wearing this. Like 100%. It is one of my favorite formulas. Seriously, one of my favorite formulas. This has a beautiful finish. This is a candid foundation. It was recommended to everyone by um, Katie Jane Hughes, and she is a makeup artist who always does Ashley Graham's makeup, Rosie's makeup, like all these big names that you probably truly love. And honestly, it's a beautiful formula. Truly beautiful. This one I would use on anyone. This foundation is so pretty. In my opinion, this is a really great drugstore brand. This is probably my favorite drugstore foundation on the market right now for the past year. So, <laughs> yeah. Alright. Now we're going to go in with the Ethereal List Foundation. This one is such a great one too. This one is by Kevin O'Quinn. And, um... I love him. I love his work. I love what he's done in the industry. This one is going to give your skin a very nice glow. It is more medium coverage, I would say. It's buildable as well, but I would say it kind of ends up at medium coverage. So there you have it. That's a little bit more, but you can see it's more of a medium coverage, even with the second application. So this one is really pretty. Now we're going to go in with the Hourglass Foundation. Good. Oh golly, this is a really great foundation too. Very beautiful foundation. Um, it was given to me at the Rosie event and this is in the color Nude. This one blends like a dream. Such a beautiful formula, like honestly, a very beautiful formula. So this is a really great one. I like this one a lot, especially for those of us who travel often and you want something very easy to apply on the go and you don't want to pack something heavy, this is a really great one. So the last foundation we're going to be using is the NARS and this one is a really beautiful one. This is their natural radiant one. And you're going to see how beautiful this one's going to blend out too. Like do you see that already? Oh, so good. This one is probably like one of the top ones that blend so well. Oh, you can't even tell that it's on the skin. It's so pretty. So I hope you see like the kind of foundations I like. I like not seeing the foundation basically. And there you have it. Those are my favorite foundations that I would use on my clients and myself. If you have any questions or comments, please do leave them down below. Please do tap the thumbs up and also the subscribe button. Um, this was fun. Until the next video, stay healthy, stay safe, and stay beautiful. Bye. Ah, it's 4 a.m. A bug just flew on me, y'all. Why is there a bug in this room?